Hello again, it's uh, Wonder Skippy here again. I've done some more matrixes, I've done quite a lot of research on the abomination of desolation. My other matrixes I lost for some reason. Um, <clears throat> so I put the axis term in and, and run it again and I've come up with the shortest skips in the Bible code and I can't find the other axes as I did but um, I've got some more information which is very similar to the to the last axis um, tables I did anyway I just thought I'd say a bit about the what it says in the Bible about the abomination of desolation um, I said in, in my other videos in the last series that I thought it was to do with the temple but I've changed my mind now. I don't think it's got anything to do with the temple. And I don't think the third temple will be built. So um, here it says uh, in the New Idiots version he will confirm a covenant with many for one seven and in the middle of the seven he will put an end to sacrifice and offering and at the temple he will set up an abomination that causes desolation until the end, end that is decreed is poured out on him. This idiot's version is, is a terrible translation. It doesn't say anything about a temple in the original Daniel. It doesn't say on him either. It's a it's the usual corrupt, uh, redacted, um, butchered um, translation you get in that horrible version of the Bible. So the English Standard, which is a better Bible in my opinion by by a vast amount, is he shall make a strong covenant with many for one week and for half of the week he shall put an end to sacrifice and offering and on the wing of abominations shall come one who makes desolate until the decreed is poured out on the desolator. I think the um, King James is the best best translation. It says here, and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured, up, poured upon the desolate. Completely different meaning from the other, the other two. So this is my take on what it actually means. The he here isn't the Antichrist, it's Jesus. He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Jesus shall make it the temple ground desolate, and in the midst of the week he shall cause sacrifice and oblation to cease because of the overspreading of abominations which started before Christ. He shall make it desolate, the temple and the temple grounds, even until the consummation, which is the end of time, the, the judgment, and that determined, which is the uh, day of judgment, shall be poured upon the desolate. So that's what I think. <clears throat> they got it completely wrong, in my opinion. Um, this is the bit where Jesus says in uh, one of the Gospels, uh, but when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not to, ought not, let the reader understand, then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. Now I don't know what that means. I've looked up, I put Titus into the Bible codes and it didn't come up once. So, um, and Titus didn't set up any kind of abomination um, in, in Palestine, in Judea. All he, his soldiers destroyed the temple. It wasn't a repeat of Antiochus um, the fourth and his uh, desecration. Um, so anyway, um, that's that bit. Um, the English Standard just changes it a bit where it says where he ought not to, whereas in the King James it says um, it not, it ought not. So that's a little bit of difference there. Um, Alright, that's that bit done. So the next thing I wanted to, to say about was this uh, octagon, which has come up a couple of times in my new tables. I looked in, in my last tables, a hexagon came up in the axis term, on top of the axis term, 
which was giving me the indication that it was to do with uh, the occult witchcraft but um, also octagon is um, significant because um, it says in this article on the uh, David Icke website that the octagon is popular with Muslims especially in Morocco um, it's called the Katim Suleiman seal of the prophets as in a signet ring uh, says here that the eight pointed star was used as a symbol long before the rise of Islam um, and it was discovered in Ur um, in Mesopotamia this chap called Pietro Dello Valle discovered an eight pointed star as a seal in the ruins of ancient Ur so it goes all the way back to Ur to the city of Abraham goes back to the Sumerians using an arrangement of lines as a symbol for both star and god their linear eight pointed star represents the goddess Inanna Sumerian queen of the heavens and Ishtar Astarte uh, the Babylonian goddess known as the light bringer so uh, there's a link there to the um, to Lucifer Luciferian um, beliefs eight pointed star enclosed within a circle was the symbol for the sun god the Babylonian star cult is the core of the archetype of sub subsequent astrology so I was thinking a long time ago I bet you anything that the UN symbol has eight eight uh, significant points um, and it does one two three four five six seven eight so um, this is a circle with an eight, eight uh, lines in it and you can make a star an eight pointed star like that in different ways um, any way you like there's four here there's one two three four four is usually a symbol for the earth as a numerical sim symbolism so it's the whole earth and it's there eight eight sided eight pointed uh, Ishtar um, Astarte goddess this here is the symbol of uh, the Roman um, emperor in my opinion it's, um, it's a Roman symbol so that's that bit done so I've just got some more time I'll get on to the first table I'll probably have to do it in the second uh, video in the series but um, as you can see I've done a lot of research on the abomination of desolation it's the same axis term but uh, I've been starting from the lowest skips uh, up to the high, up to the higher ones. Not all of them, obviously, because there are too many of them. But um, I'll start with this one, which is uh, number six, which on a skip of twelve thousand. So there's a lot going on here, as you can see. This is the axis term, and a number of words have fallen on top of the axis term. I'll go through them all, all these words one by one. Okay, first of all, I usually check if Obama's in there, and um, and he is, of course, of, as usual. There he is, um, starting with the A left. Is that it? No, wait a minute. Here he is, uh, up here. A left, Val, and that. So that's that's Obama going up that way. Um, Next one is Brotherhood, Fraternity, which comes up in, in most of these tables. This has come up twice, and it's yellow, um, yellow circles, so it's this one here, along here, like that, and it, that, 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 um, that, that, I think. Let's check it. Mm can't see that, that's it that way that's it along there anyway, I might have got some of the letters wrong there but uh, it's, uh, that's, that's it along there second one is the second yellow which goes this way which is that one, that one, that one, that one and that one so you can see that they're two together there very near to each other in that kind of a diagonal kind of arrow kind of shape which turns up sometimes um, 
that's the first one. Pagan is in the drums in light blue. So it's this here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's it there. Right across the axis on top there with that letter. Which is a lamed that one there on the axis. So it's it's pagan that always comes up. So that's what we're talking about, a pagan brotherhood. Um, obscurity or darkness is uh, the pink um, squares. That's here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Roman is over this side. That came up a few times. It's here in the diamonds and purple. Roman. Uh, um, ecstasy, which is inflaming rapture, inflaming ecstasy. I think this is something to do with the way people, uh, what they experience in these, um, in these, in these brotherhoods, you know, in their rituals, because it comes up a lot. <clears throat> ecstasy is um, is the light green on the axis. Term. This one here in the squares goes on that one again. So that's shared, that little letter there, that lamma is shared a lot by these terms. See, it goes that way with that W looking shin, lamed, hey, vav, bet. So that's it there. Rapture, inflaming, ecstasy. Inflaming comes up again on the on the axis. Different word in Hebrew. Here it is. It's in the brown. It goes down here this way, like that. On top of the axis there, with the brown there and there. So that's very significant. This inflaming. Um, Vatican. First time that's come up. Vatican is the purple diagonal lower which is this one here going down there Vatican because there's some rumors that they've been involved in that since the 60s in the cultish kind of rituals um, okay I'm running out I've run out of time unfortunately I might just be able to do the last one which is allulation because that came up seven times on this axis here on this um visual matrix seven times and um, it actually landed on the axis again it's uh, the blue barrels so um, if you can find blue barrels um, here it is, is that it? Allulation one, two, three um, oh no wait a minute, this is it here, blue barrels, there it is that one there, one, two, three, four, five, allulation for those of you who might not know what that means, it's it's the it's the weird sound uh, Muslim women make when they're at weddings and stuff. Uh, kind of a joyful uh, sound for them. So that's all I got. Thirteen and a half minutes. That's the first in the series. Uh, continue in part two.